Okay, video is gone. Video is going. Put it there. Okay, right. Here we go. Today, it's um, Tuesday, the 5th of December 2017. Now, this is a notice I've got for the owners of 77 Cook Street, or 1 bar 61 Cook Street, or 61 Cook Street, or 98 Wellesley Street. The owners or the proprietors of that land block is James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree. Uh, so uh, you two, I'm giving you a 72 hour notice on this YouTube video that you must respond to me alleging that you are criminal fraudsters uh, in the land transaction in a private contract with me that if you fail to refute what I'm saying on this video and all the documents inside of this writ warrant I've got against you and these magistrate court, native magistrate court of Tiwunga Waka Marae, uh, native magistrate court in Ipsum, we had a meeting there on the 11th of November 1862 to 18, 1862, the date that Rei Whare Whamanakau here signed with Rogan the deed of title for Auckland, provincial area of Pukekohe, all that land from Cleveland right across to Afitu, and all of Franklin District Council area of one man one chief and that's the title I was putting on Cook Street at the time you were there and you have bought a bad title and here's the reject of the caveat I registered with the Manukau name Refer for Manukau to go on the block which was in a 81B bar 528 at the time the chiefs have signed it the Moriori chiefs have signed it and myself, a surrogate King William IV, right here. King William IV and the flag over here, and the eight point star here on my hat as a sheriff, creditor, and the eight point star here, and his crown here, the badge, the shirt that got returned to me and stolen off my back in here by the police who were instrumental with you to. Thugs, I'm calling you thugs and pirates because this is a flag for thugs and pirates who get in the way of a contract between this man, Manukau, and us, his descendants. Right? The Manukau and the Wanoa and the Rogan family put these titles together, the, the, the titles to Auckland on this whakapapa here of the Rogan family. Judges and Mori Tamaki Manukau here. He was the man and, and the Freemasons that put this fucker up together for Cook Street and the Kaipara and all the lands in the Ngati Whatua district from south of Taupo all the way up to Cape Ranga, Te Reiringa Wairua. That was called Ngati Whatua land. That this was fashioned for this whakapapa with the Wanoas here, the Rogans and the Manukau's that stitched this all together for the Confederation of Chiefs and I'm the longest standing member, diligent, still dedicated to that side of the 1830 fire flag and here the 1834 declaration of war flag that was given to Referef Manukau. Okay, so this is the stamped receipt of Refer of Manukau selling the whole of Pukekohe to Rogan, the Rogan in here, right, that put the land survey titles together for this block of land. There's the name there. Look, I'm, I'm showing you two little thugs that there's a Manukau Refer of name in capital letters. That means he's a commercial contract commercial landowner of that block of land you've got on and you've failed to check the title out before you bought it it's a bad title right from the beginning and there's the receipt of the Pakia version of that receipt 
from Rogan, and the Maori or the native version they strung together with Refere for Manikau's name right here, and it's signed as Manikau in the Maori version or the native version, and it's signed in both names here, Manikau and Refere for Manikau, where they forged it in the European language. I have received from Mr. Rogan five pounds. I will repay this to him when we receive the payment for our land, Uetawa. Pukekohe is the name of that land. Signed Manikau and signed again Refa Refa. That's the English copy. Auckland, North, uh, Auckland, November 11th, 1862. And I had a hui in the Te Unga Waka on 11th of November 2017 to certify and stamp this book as authenticated this title purchase sale and purchase agreement British title. Now the offence here is this that title has been forged by Nati Fatua Urahi and here is my reject notice another one the second one right a second notice on that block of land before you got it it was Doug Ricard Bell he quickly got rid of it because he knew he was going to get stuck with it and the debt that goes with it but he's still in it he, he's going to get the debt as well because he carried on that legacy till you got it and <clears throat> that's what I'm saying you're caught in the fraud land transfer and there's the other one there that's the other transfer title there that I'm holding you liable and we're seizing the land, I'm seizing the land as a sheriff here, right here on Friday this week or depending on the lawyer if he's going to play ball with the party, the two party contract with you, thugs, we're going to arrest you, get you arrested by the police for defrauding the public of New Zealand and especially us, the paramount chiefs right here signing these documents as authentic authenticated straight to Britain and on top of that I've got the fucker papa of the Russell family that'll wipe out Nazi Fatua all together okay my friend Maura Hoffman has given me the Russell family book Faka papa Russell Rata Moetara na Venus McGill no Tauranga now here it says London and Kaikovi. London, Kaikovi. That's it. This is the British title that I'm going on. This one and the Whakapapa to Rahiri and Kupe in this one to the British settlers there and the Whakapapas all the way through the book. Right? I know which Whakapapas which and you've defrauded the people Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara and Ngāti Whātua o Oraki. You have defrauded the public of New Zealand with your 1840 treaty, the Waitangi fraudulent document. It's not worth the paper it's written on because this is going to wipe it right out and that's my aim to take that block of land on Cook Street on this basis. That you failed before you failed to put the name Referef Manikau on the Lynn's title as a caveat as interest in the land the ones who sold it in the first place and there's the reject that I went twice to take that title and put the name Referee for Manukau on the title and it got turned down twice. Referee for Manukau, Rogan, 11th of November 1862, Native Land Act, New Zealand La Native Land Act goes under that. You see the Minihinex that live in Taheke Marae area of Lobo, Morris Baker, has got the whakapapa, the right whakapapa and the right titles that I've been through as a native land commissioner to check the titles out to see if it's authentic. It is. It matches up with this Lefere for Manikau title in Auckland as a provincial area title of the whole of the north half of this island uh, area. The, they call Ngāti Whātua, a tribal area all the way through. And Ratna down there is the biggest crook out. They took this 1862 Native Land Act, where the government goes and gets permission from the Rogans 
that married the Manukau's and married my family down the East Coast, my rogans are not as bad as those ones up in La Cabra. They forged Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau's name from Mangatauteri. He went to England in 1820, you two thugs, and sold the whole country, New Zealand. And in 1830, King George IV. That's who made the deal in Edinburgh Magistrate Court, and those are the titles of the Freemasons that I'm going on. All right, and uh, and then 1830, Refere Manika took that title and was given the 1834 flag, contract flag, this flag here, contract flag, as a connection to King George IV, the brother of King William IV, and that flag as private contract nobody's business and that's me I'm using this flag for its intended purposes and not the Maori government or not the confederation up there and not the fucking not nothing to do with them you see I warned you James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree I warned you three times with three written notices taken to your office and you ignored me as if I'm nothing now you can see who I am when you lost your case in the Auckland District Court because of insufficient evidence. Now there's more evidence to whack you buggers right out of the place with this, a British title with Maura Hoffman Russell lived up in the Hokianga Harbour at Rawini and knows it back to front the same as Rolo Baker, Rolo Morris Baker and Manahi Parapara Mohini lives on Taheke Road. Manahi lives about three k's away from the Mangungu Methodist Church where he preaches as a minister in the local community and a Ratna minister there as well and the Mangungu Mission House that they want to sell land over there and we're going to stop it from being sold and any more land from being sold that's historic to our claims. Right, and so Bola Rolo, um, I mean Lobo, Morris Baker lives about five k's away from Mangungu Methodist Church and Mangungu Treaty House Mission House, where the treaty was signed. I'm yet to go on this contract and not the treaty. The treaty doesn't make contracts and money. It's this contract and the land titles that makes the money. When they first hopped off the ship, all those immigrants that came there in 1830, before 1830, into Hokianga Harbour, already had a title to go on the land from Britain. It was Tera Waikato Whareherehere's Manukau's title from Cambridge and Mangatotiri Mountain Pa that you won't find on the history of Ngāti Whātou. They wiped it right off. Well, we're going to write these right off with this. Whakapapa. And I'm just about to send this off to you too. If you don't refute it with your own lips moving, with your claim against me, this video will take over your property, your business, and all your assets and lock you up in jail forever and ever for breaking the 1951 Crimes Act New Zealand and the 1961 Crimes Act New Zealand for many reasons that are in this book on the British side of the titles. We have 1830 to 1837X right on top of you and the pound note at the back right on top of you. A trillion pound note on your heads each and a 970 million trillion trillion pound note to top it all off here and everyone connected to your fraud donkey. But we're only taking these two landowners out for starters just to open up the books of the fraudulent NZ Invest company in Mahuhu Crescent where I lived on Tapora Street just up the road from there. I investigated that lot and Intuition New Zealand Limited company belonged to the government's corporation, Crown Corporation, 82 companies and 12 companies belong to the New Zealand Police Company, private business. And that's another thug that gotten behind you, two little rascals, bitches, and screwed me and locked me up with this shirt. There's evidence against me. Now I've got the evidence here against those cars in this here. Name and capitals again. Look at you, thug, Pakia, 
put my name in capitals and return my shirt in the packet and just as so though it's gonna go away. No, this is the evidence again too for sending my shirt back to me in the packet and thinking it's nothing. No, it's an offence against us and our national investment banking interests. Your threat to our national interest and security uh, of investment and to the public of New Zealand for defrauding the public of New Zealand and us, the Paramount Chiefs. That's what I want to say on this video. So I'm going to try and keep it short and you've got 72 hours by Thursday 4 o'clock to make a video. It doesn't take long to make a video and if you don't this video will be used against you to strip you of everything if you can't say I'm saying this you're fraudsters both of you James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree you perverted the cause of justice you corrupted the justice system of New Zealand uh, law and courts and the judges in the courts corrupted as well I never got my court case they kicked me out of the court and the barrister Shannon with us, you get the power note on your head too, your eyeball as well, for looking after the court and those crooked judges. And Judge Grant said, I'm innocent of any charges. And then the police got on their feet and opened up the case again as a new case and then Grant carried on with it. Well, he's liable as well. The court is liable, John Key's liable, you're all liable to each other. John Key is the Chairman of the NZ Bank, liable the NZ Bank. Now, I'll stick this power note and bankrupt the whole of these. Forfeit the bank, the land, and everything under the nation. That's what John Key did. And he's the uh, director, one of the directors of, um, of Air New Zealand. Chairman of NZ Bank in Australia. Picked up his gear, sold his house, and took off. See, that's a sign of guilt. Then came back and put the eight points down on him as if to say he's going to pick up the can from Peter Peroni in Waitangi Marae. Peter Peroni, you're going to get locked up. I'm going to order the British military to lock you up and take that land off you because I've got the Ututonga title here with one house on the whole of Titi Marae blocks and kick the Haywood, kick you off, kick you Browns right out of the place, off the land. King, he wanted his land back, he might get his wish yet. But he's a Rahiri and Rahiri is in this Whakababa. Okay, with Laura Hoffman, Hoffman and all their families and all the photos there in the mills and everything in the Kauri and in this photo here is the Kauri tree right here what 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 they came from England for to get these big Kauri trees look the Kauri trees right and the Marae there's the Marae they, they've, they've gotten through the Marae and then there's Hokianga up there right this is this is the title this is why these people from Britain came here with the title to actually take the whole place over Okay, and London here, London right there. Right, that's the evidence that I'm using in the court and the ship here of Admiralty and the flag of Britain up there, right? And then we've got this flag here to go with this, right? To clean you all bastards out, all you bastards out. I want to clean you all out because you buggers held me up for 68 years without going on my land because I'm not a farmer. Big deal. Now, you two, Simon Brent Roundtree and James Pierce Brown. You've got 72 hours, one more time, to refute what I'm saying, that you are crooked fraudsters and defrauded the public of New Zealand and got the police to cover up your fraud, land title transfer, without the Manukau's name put on the title as a point of interest. Now we're going to take the whole lot as full interest. Full interest disclosed of all everything online it goes on Facebook it goes on YouTube everything I put on YouTube there's 1437 videos you have to get past one of those and you'll get caught on the next one okay none of you are going to get away with it because I've recorded every step of the way through the years in at least 16 years on this trail to catch you bastards out pirates I call you your pirates you two and those office girls that rang the police when I said don't ring the police and the police who answered the phone and then came out as a complaint and then lost the case you see you didn't check me out first to see what position I have on these lands and I'm a Cosgrove lawyer 
family in Ireland, Northern Ireland, and a Rogan judge, surveyor, land surveyor, in Northern Ireland, Belfast, where this eight point star comes from. And this flag's got the eight point star in the four corners of the earth. Na Atua E Wa Ote Limited, registered company in Wellington, New Zealand, to sting you off with that company. And the Moai Crown King William IV Trust and the Moriori Manukau Trust and the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company in London creditor, these are creditors and the Moai Crown Company creditors okay, you've got all that creditors breathing down in your neck, all of you that are involved and liable to each other John Key liable the government, liable the police, liable the country, liable the ANZ Bank, you're going to get this bill on top of your head when I come in and I'm going into your office to take it over with a management team and new PhD business administrators to take the whole business over. I've got the investigator coming from Britain, he's an ex-British um, Scotland Yard detective, Graham Allen, ready to go. I'm going to see him soon, even though I'm tired, I'm going to see him soon. I'll take this book up, this is his book. I'll put a bit of this in it, and it's got Lobo title up in Taheke, Hori Takuri. His titles are in here as well as Eiffel and Manikawa's title. Those two chiefs form the basis of these titles that the Crown, New South Wales and New Zealand government are playing around with. And that's his title. That's, that's Morris Baker's title there of Hori Takuri. Hedemeyer, Hori Takuri. There, yeah, right there. Hedemeyer to Lobo, Morris Baker. That's why he got 10 land box back and the car, car, government can't touch him. They can't touch him. I'm going into those blocks to remove the New South Wales titles off it, the same way as I'm going to do with Cook Street. Remove the titles off it and put it back right where it is in the deep titles, the British titles, and see the whole lot. Just the same as you cause fraud, you lose the lot. As a consequence of your ignorance and silence, you lose the lot by default. Your default contract at the end of Thursday, 4 o'clock p.m., from 9 o'clock this morning, as soon as I send this. So I'll get off now and send this to you. You're now on notice now, in front of the world, watching, and all those people in Britain are making a statement here um, on YouTube that I'm now wrapping up this case on Cook Street. It's been a long time, 2008, when Jamie Peters got in trouble with his mortgage. He overspent and bought up land in Gulf Harbour as a property developer, then came down Auckland Waterfront and did the same, and then mortgaged his bank account over $300 million of investment funds. That's, he couldn't put the building up for those investors. They lost the money, and I was there because he gave me his titles to go and see if I can do something being in real estate. I've been in real estate, and I, I said, give me your titles and I'll go and do it. You see, so when I, the more I looked at it, the more I could see more discrepancies in the titles, and that's what I'm saying. I just want to show you. That, that's me as real estate there. Okay, I carry this around as ID. That's me in Remiora and Ipsum as a real estate agent back then. Okay, so I'm just telling you I know about land, titles, native titles, whakapapa, whakapapa is here. The whakapapa to the whole of this country is in here with the Russell. Lord John Russell started off in Hokianga, then across to Russell in the Bay of Islands as a Secretary of the Colonial Office, Secretary of State of the Colonial Office here in America and then in 1839 that was, and then went to England, become Prime Minister after 1840, and taking these titles back from here to England, okay? And fashion them around the British titles, this one, and not this one. The original titles were fabricated inside this 
Nati Fata O Rato and Nati Fata O Kaipara and Teroroa and those tribes up north. Nati Kahu, Nati Kahu, Nati, Nati Kawa, uh, Nati Rairi, all those tribes up there fabricated the original Refer of Manukau and Huri Tikuri titles in this book. Right? I showed you, I showed you the receipt and this name, Refer of Manukau, should have gone on the title and they didn't put it on. They didn't have failed to honour the Land Transfer Act, uh, 1952 Land Transfer Act, section 145 and 145A. They forgot or left out or failed to register the name Manukau where the land came from in the first place. So you can't prove to me who you bought the land from because it'll go back right back to here. You can't prove that your titles came out of here. Where did you get your titles from? And you're going to ask Doug Ricard Bell, the thug from Sydney that came here and bought that land for cheap, 38 million from Jamie Peters, and you bought it for 38 million. You see, you couldn't sell it for more. The Chinese were willing to pay 80 million for that land. I said, don't touch the bloody thing because I'm going to take it off of you. And so Doug Ricard Bell, uh, and before him, Jamie Peters, was stuck in this title that can't prove who they bought it off. The council won't say who they bought it off either. So the Crown, New Zealand, New South Wales, is in trouble with this book and this book, Russians, that formed everything in Russell and the treaty and everything in the first place. The Okiato Native Court, where John Russell was inside that magistrate court that started off and blew the whole bloody lot and went down to Awaroa Native Court in Helensville and opened the Awaroa Bank and made the titles for Auckland, the new Auckland, from there for the government in Hobson Bay, Governor Hobson. Okay, so that came out of this title and fabricated with the Manukau Marae, made into Tahuna Marae at Afitu in south, uh, south of uh, uh, Manukau Harbour, and on the north side, Okia or, or at, at um, um, Puponga, at Cornwallis, that's where Refere for Manukau's other Marae Pa site was. They got rid of Napui's, got rid of, of, of uh, Referee from Manukau locked him up on Tikawa, up here, Tikawa, Kawa Island, and he got away and swam back, and they couldn't find him after that. So that, that's when they went to town and stole all these titles, and the Ratna Church stole it all as well, with Mohi Manukau's lot down there. The Wano was down there too in Ratna Church, and left the little Ratna Church, abandoned the whole place, let it go to ruins, and Morris has jumped in and made his home in it. And that's where I stay in that Marae, in that little church, Ratna Church, where it started from in the first place. And it's got the original flag in there of Ratna Taheke. And the Ratna Church in Wanganui is corrupt, fraud, with the seven wakas, this bullshit, waka waka here, that's being fabricated for Maori. That's a patent name of Pakeha from Australia, thugs, Alfred Mitchell's well. So there. Now, you refute this, Simon Brent Rowntree, one more time. You and James Pierce Brown must refute what I'm saying here, you crooked lot of thieves. And I'm going to take that land off you this time because I've got more evidence than I had before. And you've got to answer to this shirt being stolen and my evidence is right here over the police. And this receipt here of returning my shirt with this name one off now worth one trillion pounds. This birth certificate name here that the government's making a hundred million out of and I only get twenty six thousand for my gold card. I'm gonna seize that name off them and sting them one trillion pounds for my birth certificate and everyone else's birth certificate in the world that's been affected by the same thugs. And your lot of thugs. Neda Glevich in the in the in, in the um nice part of, of, or Kaipara. Uh, that's Dion Walker or Waka or Dion Parker Walker is telling me you're a whole bunch of thugs up there in your trust. It's the trust CEO that screwed it. And you, T1 and Tibble, down the East Coast, you've been in that Nazi fight to Iraqi as a Nazi pro running the racket in there for years and you hid away one time and I came to see you. I just bowled straight in your office and sat and talked to you. Tell you, I'm taking this fucking cuffing 
bed on one tree hill. Okay. I put this fucker up here. Look, cover for one tree hill. This is the title of the one tree hill. Here, cover I went up there and unveiled that memorial stone that you dug in this Nazi Quartal outfit. Suggery, Mary, Suggery, hid that plaque away. I put the stone up and opened that hill up again as Kafiru the giant of Waikato and Mohi Manukau Waikato. He stole that fucker papa and put it with the Rogans. The Rogans crooked the titles and took them down to Ratna. If Napui knew what they did, they would have sliced his head off and everybody around Rogan and Mohi Manukau's uncle, Mohi Rogan, the white man that screwed the lot. Okay? That screwed the lot. Save for the Russells from Britain and the Maui crown. Okay, so Bundy, this flag is a contract flag only for Refere for Manukau, contract straight to Britain. It is not for anything else. There is no contract in Rahi. The time period is far back. There was no mortgages around then and a flag to do business commercially. There was only this time of the provincial Auckland when this flag was used the most by Peter Peroni and his sad pirates in Waitangi Marae, that native court that I opened up as a King's Bench native court. And Ohepa Ipiha was there, King Itaurua and uh, uh, Willie Pater. Those three chiefs were there to witness me opening that marae with my own carvings in there. And Kingy said, this is your marae, God Manoa. I said, well, this is your land, Kingy. You want your land back? I'll seize the land and the marae and the ship of Admiralty here and take it back to Tahike area, Horeke area, where the ships were built, and stick the bloody thing back over there. Right? And put the flag up, up over there and the treaty sign over there instead of Waitangi. It's no good over there. It's corrupted. All right? All the corrupted. The government of New Zealand is corrupted. And you two thugs on Cook Street, this is for you. I'm coming to seize that land this time with my authority straight to Britain watching me perform my duty as their legal partner and commercial land owner with my chiefs. Okay? I'm the owner. You haven't proved to me where you got your title from, it's come out of this book with Rafa from Monaco and Get a Waikato, Funny Headed in Monaco, King George IV and King William IV in this contract flag right here and this one over here. There. And this April star that belongs to my family, the St. Patrick's in Northern Ireland, Belfast, DUP party, Arlene Foster, First Prime Minister of Northern Ireland. I'm coming there to go into Westminster with you and the Moai King William Party to clean all the rubbish bastard politicians right out of the pedophiles and all the ones from here, out of there with Britain. We're coming here to go down and run to with the British military, navy, and set up over there and take over America. That's what's going to happen with this flag of authority over every other federal state government in the world. This is the Moai Crown federal state government of the world, Commonwealth countries. Do government with UK Britain, Westminster, Westminster Magistrate Court, Paddington, where our office will be. At the moment it's in Bolney Street Road in Brighton, England. Um, Matt Taylor is managing that business there and as a deputy manager in um, Jackie Little Gordon in Scotland, Aberdeenshire, Scotland, not far from Edinburgh Magistrate Court where I'll be going and packing myself up with the land titles, the native land titles right to the well. So that's all I want to say on this video, uh, but uh, I'll put it out now and send, send it within the next 25 minutes to Simon Brent Roundtree and James Pierce Brown, the proprietors. <coughs> <coughs> illegal fraud land owners of 77 Cook Street presently that title will be seized from you because 
if you don't tell me where you got your land title from on a video with your lips moving, each of you separately, because I'm taking you out separately, with a trillion pounds on your head for a start, and every day I warned you, after that is another trillion. Your boss gets that, and your boss's boss, the Queen, the Vatican, the UN, NATO, US Federal State Government, United States of America, United Nations, <coughs> City of London, Washington DC, <coughs> Vatican City, New Zealand Cabinet, New Zealand Government, New Zealand Parliament, New Zealand Police, New Zealand Courts, Supreme Court of New Zealand, High Court of New Zealand, you're all getting the bill because these two landowners have to tell me who they bought the land off and their title. If they can't tell me against this receipt from Rogan, bought the land, I'm going to read it out one more time to you two thugs, okay, so you can hear what I'm saying, okay? I'm going to read the, the, the big blown up receipt right here, this one. I'm going to read that one to you in English so you know, okay? It says here, <coughs> this is the Reverend of Monaco, on the 11th of November 1862, Monaco District. Notice the name Monica. It says here, he says, I have received from Mr. Rogan five pounds. I will repay him this to him when we receive the payment for the land Uetawa. Pukikoi is the name of that land. Signed, Monaco, and signed again, Refa Refa. Auckland, November 11th, 1862. The true transcript of copy, office copy of receipt, H. Hanson Turton, Wellington, October, H. 1875, Deeds Receipt Number 80. Hawani Kahaki Wano, sign, Manahi Parapara Mohini, sign, Bandi Waitai, sign, Hiriwini Kraka, sign, to witness <coughs> <coughs> this receipt between a real Moriori. Manukau native and a British land agent conveyance lawyer. Okay, so that's the receipt, and it says here in Maori. I'm going to read in Maori, I can't see properly. Deed receipts number 79 now. Uitaha, Uitawa Block, Pukikoi, Manukau District. Oh, I've got to get a spyglass to see because I can't read. Where's my spyglass? I want, I want to read this while the video is running. And I can't find my I'll get some glasses on or something so I can read. Yes. I want to make sure I get myself right in front of your face, you two, because you gave me a hard time in your office and you caused me a lot of anguish, a lot of pain, a lot of accusations against me. As those well brother Slater, Cameron Slater, you, 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 you're going to get locked up, mate, for saying bad things about me. You fat slob, blubber. Right, here, I'm going to read in Maori, I'm going to think to with looking at it. Uetaha block, deeds, receipts, number 79. The other one was number 79, 80, number 80. The one in Pakia, now it's in Maori. Deeds receipt number 79, Uetawa Block, Pukikoi, Manukau District. Ko rero mai ki ao na te rokena e rima pauna, takitahi maku ane moni e whaka hokia ki a ia ina rite te utu mo ta maua whenua ko Uetawa Ko Pukikoi to Ingoa Nui o Tawa. Akarana, November 11th, 1862, signed Manukau, unsigned, whatever, whatever, in capital letters. Note, please note, the name Refer Refer Manukau is in capitals, which means he's a commercial landowner of the whole of the Nasifato area, right through, because that was this lot stolen. This lot stolen from the Nice Fatua 
Kaipara and Oraki. Fake titles with Kafaru, Suhu Kafaru, and Graham Latma, and the rest of the thugs up there, Joe Hawk and the rest of them. You're, 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 you're watching this video because I'm telling you, you're in trouble with this title, this receipt with Ma Ma Manika, Breakfast Manika, playing this game, and in this Pakabapa book here, the Russells, to finish you off. Right? You don't get to see it. Take my word for it, I know what I'm doing as a land commissioner of these countries. I'm doing due diligence for the native people and the people you're screwed in this country and making them pay debts that they can't get out of. I'm going to get them out of debt and put you in debt. I'm going to bankrupt the whole bloody lot of you. <coughs> <coughs> so that's a, our stamp, the Moai Seal stamp here, standing in London, the Moai standing in London there. All the powerful countries in the world, Washington DC, New York, <coughs> France, uh, um, Bel Belgium, uh, um, New Zealand, South Island, and Dunedin with a crown on his head. That's the Moai, the crown for the whole world there. And in Auckland with his head chopped off by these thugs. <coughs> and King William IV here with his flag that is over here, this one. And Brief and Tira Waikato Farahirehere Manukau and Hongihika standing here. Hongihika had no contract. He just wanted the musket and go around terrorizing everybody, <coughs> uh, fighting in Ngātuhato and Tororua and all those people joined forces to fight against Napoli. Napoli, <coughs> you got screwed. You better fix Peter Prony, boot his fucking ass out of there, boot Hayward out of off the land because I'm, com I'm coming up to take that land back to Ngāpui. I'm taking those lands up in the Kaipara and up in, in, in Hokianga back to the Hapus. Off the Iwi Trust and boot their ass out and give them a bill before we boot them. Okay, you got that? That's what I'm doing. I've been on this too long. 20 years I've been at this with all this on top of me and the Rogan's coat of arms in Northern Ireland to go straight into Westminster Parliament and clean that lot out and the Muslims tell the Muslims to go back home and boot all the parkers off the land, their land and let them have their country back and put the money in there for them to restore their land and their natural resources back to themselves and stop the fighting. Kick the bloody government out, out, out of the way. Okay, so that's me. <clears throat> okay, one more time. To the public of New Zealand watching on Facebook 107 sites on Facebook, 1437 YouTube videos, <coughs> and a website with John Key in it and everybody else implicated in fraud in the parliament with their photos they can't take off. But some of the same don't touch. I'm picking that it's the Freemasons with the Scottish rights <coughs> that I'm going to live in Edinburgh, where Prince Philip has buggered off as commander in chief of youth thugs. Right? He's gone and the Queen's gone. She's there prancing around ready to go when I get down I go hang her. That's what I keep saying, I hang her for treason and for causing all the wars and killing babies and drinking their blood. All that fucking stuff. We're gonna get rid of her and all that thug pedophile people in there and people that are causing all the trouble. And tell the Muslims, here's a ticket to go home, get your land back, here's the title, get your land back and go and Get your own natural resources and boot everybody out of there. Okay? That's what I'm saying to the black people. You go back home, you take your land back, take this flag over there, and get your land back and boot these buggers off. Okay? That's how you do it. Okay? Thank you very much. So today <coughs> is Tuesday, uh, the 5th of December 2017. But I take this letter straight off, this video straight off to those two and post it to them online. Okay? And I'm off to the investigations up in Browns Bay to take this book, this book, <coughs> and the videos, and <coughs> the um, rest of the bits that I'll give to him um, as evidence. Okay? Right. See ya. Bye. Thank you for watching.